Hey everybody, I'm Zach, this is Shmirk and Uber, and welcome back to Dragon Quest Builders 2. We've got a few more fields. This is gonna be strawberries. Our wheat is growing nicely. Our cabbages are looking really good. So we got some good stuff going here. I built this here animal house for the puppies. Um, and we may need more puppy, more puppies to fill that animal house. I would be happy to get more pups. Um, everything in here is still the same. Otherwise, we haven't really added much. We're gonna grab that. And, uh, we're gonna head out. We're moving on in the story. Um, and I'm excited to do so. So, let's teleport. We are gonna head back to the dock. Set sail for a new island. Yeah, yeah. We've also opened up the teleporter, which means multiplayer is open. But for now, we're just gonna head for the dock. We're gonna see what we can find. I'm excited. I'm gonna grab my free copy of Limbo from the Epic Game Store. <laughs> While we're waiting here. Place the order, thank you. Great, you're welcome, Epic Games. You're welcome. All right, uh, you finally found the island. Great. The land of golden sands. Um, I don't care, take me to where I wanna go. That's all that matters. All right, I'm ready. Schwab, ooh, it's a big new island. Isn't that exciting? All right, let's head to Krumbul Dune. Yes. Yes. We have to leave everything behind, of course. Except for our gear, that is. I take it you're heading off on another great adventure. R Rosie? I don't... I don't see Rosie anywhere. That's... Isn't that Lulu? Rosie's got glasses. And Bonanzo? Also not here. All right, goodbye everyone. Thank you. Okay, let's go. Let's get out of here. On to the boat and onwards to the high seas where we will get exploring. I can't wait. Yo, I'm having such a good time with this game. If you are a fan of Minecraft and you haven't played Dragon Quest Builders, play it, it's great. They're very loud talkers, so you can hear them no matter where they are on the island. Schmer, have a good trip. <laughs> Not useful for keeping secrets. <laughs> Do you think that the people in um in uh Schmerkaton, Schmerkaville, Schmerka, Schmerka Falls, um? Do you think they have secrets? Should I be spying on my citizens? I probably should be, right? We should make sure that the citizens of uh, Schmirka Town, USA, um, are not plotting against us. That would be awful. Awful monsters. We're almost done sailing, come on. Load it up. I'm about to, cause that's what I was born to do. Need to learn the security camera recipe. <laughs> well, maybe we'll get that in this chapter. All right. The land of golden sands. You're sticking around, right? Uh, this place looks abandoned to me. I doubt we'll find anyone to take back with us, let alone that metal we need. Um, I'll hold the port. Great, cool. So we can go back whenever we want. That's awesome. That was some serious shaking. Something tells me there's more to this place than meets the eye. Let's go take a look around. Well, the dock looks pretty nice at the very least. Um, and like, what's going on over here? We've got, oh, this is so cool. Yeah, very clever with the logs there. We should do something like that at home. Um, that's a chair of some sort. Now, here's something important to remember. Um, we don't have anything. <laughs> we don't have any food. 
we have nothing. So, oh, oh, I'm not sure which is worth the sticky swamps of Furrow Field or the roasting heat of this desert. What? Oh, oh, those are train tracks. Okay. Um. Yeah, give me the cactus. I think we can eat cactus. Okay, we can't eat cactus, but you know what? Put that down, Shmur. We don't need any of this sand. Um, any idea what these planks with strips of metal on top are? <laughs> Electronics do generally need metal to create. Yeah, I'm sure we'll find. I'm sure we'll find the recipe for security cameras here. <laughs> I'm sure we will. I have a feeling. Uh, rail tracks. You can zoom along them in a cart. Sounds like a right laugh. Oh, another one. Those quakes just keep on cut. Whoa. Oh, oh. <laughs> Shmur falls flat on his face, and Malroth lands on his feet. Been here two minutes, and we're in a hole. I hope you're not hurt, because you're the only one who can build us a way out of this place. Yep. All right, let's collect some wood. And, um... We're gonna go with this. Oh. The look on your face says something's not right. You can't smash this stone to build a staircase out of here, can you? We're in a whole lot of trouble now. Boy, you two... Hey, girl, what's up? You two all right down there? You look, Shmur, up there. Here, take these and build yourselves a way back up. All right. 30 sand, huh? Okay. Well, um... Okay. Mistakes. We did it. You two all right? Looks like nothing's broken at least. You best be at it now. This island ain't no place for holiday makers. Holiday makers, how dare you? How dare you, I'm Schmur. You ain't here on holiday, you come to find yourselves a few mates and some metal. Are you asking if I know anyone? I ain't sure if I should be telling you. Who are you two anyhow? You're a builder? You ain't pulling me leg, are you? But if you're telling the truth, this is very interesting news indeed. Huh? I'm Babs. Pleased to meet you, Shmur. You too, Malroth. If you really are a builder, maybe you can help me with something. Come with me. I'll show you the way. Okay, you got it. But first, I've got more cactuses to nom. Wap. Ooh. Edible immediately. Great. Orange slimes. Let's go. Okay, got some oil. I am coming. Settle down. I just gotta kill all the monsters. We gotta kill them all. Let's get this bunny rabbit. He's gonna give a steak, right? Let's go. All right. Whoa, look at this. This is incredible. I love it. I love it. Okay, I'm coming. I'm coming. Boy, we're going to have a lot of stuff to smash up. Um, I'm going to grab these because it's the only food we have. Of Ooh. It's a bunch of sad-looking peeps. Welcome to Krimbil Dune, the land of plenty. Round here, the precious stuff just pours out the ground. Or at least it did once upon a time. Mm -hmm. Now we got nothing. Not since the children of Argon shut down the mine. Now look at the place. You'll never know this used to be a bustling mine in town and that the tumble-down bar over there was once the hub of our little community. I've been dreaming of getting the mine open again and giving this town a new lease of life, and now you're here, we can make it happen for real. I don't see why you need us so badly. Seems to me like you got enough people to make a start. <sighs> if only it was that simple. I could explain, but you'd be better off getting it straight from the horse's mouths. You'll get the picture. All right, Babs. Wee Babs. Okay, hello, sad man. What's a cheery chappy like you doing talking to a washed up old codger like me? Who are you, anyway? <laughs> a bubba builder? Ah, oh, the humanity. Take that devilish grin of yours and get right out of it. Don't even mention the B word around here, outsider, unless you want the children of Hargon breathing down your neck. This island was once uh, an haven for rough, tough miners with money to burn. Business in the pub was booming. 
Now the golden age is over and me and me dreams are dead and buried. Everything's gone to the dogs. They can't say Babs. You see, mining and metalworking go against the teaching of the children of Hargon. It's just how it is now. In other words, your kind aren't welcome around these parts, so do yourself a favor and get out while you still can. We'll have no trouble here. Oh. Wow, your bar looks nice. Ooh, new blocks. All kinds of good stuff. Okay, let's talk to these guys. I love these guys so much. Oi, Digby. Is there really nothing we can do? I miss the whiff of that tasty, that stuffy tunnel air. Know what I mean? Look, Dougie, if I told you once, I told you a thousand times. Lest we can smash through that rock. We ain't getting back in the mine. Fish. Ah, who are you? I ain't seen your face before. Reckon I remember someone that scrawny. Oh. A builder? What? You mean like a bodybuilder? Pull the other one. Get out of it. Go <laughs> on, shoe back to where you came from. Children of Argon, don't take too kindly to any type of builder. You. <laughs> to watch Smur have to do the accents. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot. There's gonna be a lot. Hang about, Digby. Didn't we come here to rebuild the town and help Babs fulfill her dreams? Babs is everything to us, you see. A sister, an auntie, a niece, a mother, a brother. She's the light of our lives, the apple of our eyes, a pincushion of our hopes. We thought that if we came here, we could reopen the mine and put a smile back on a beautiful face. But that place is sealed tighter than a very tightly sealed fang. And even if we could get the mine up and running again, we're all too terrified of what the children of Argon would do to us if we did. It ain't fair. I ain't having it no more. Someone gives a drink. I need a digger's jigger. A digger's jigger. I love it. Is there anything in this chest? No. Um, okay. Who else do I talk to? Aha. Babs. Wee Babs. So you had them all out, did you? Now you can see what a pickle we're in. Just so you know, the ball geezer is McGrog. He used to be a blacksmith. Guy wearing the bow ties, my old man, Den. He's the landlord of the bar. Yeah, we met them. They were moaning about the mine being sealed up and being brainwashed by the children of Hargon. I never believed a single word of Hargon's teaching myself, but I wish I could say the same for the others. They fell for his lies, hook, line, and sinker. When the mine closed, his beloved pub went bust. I'd love to get the mine back in working order, get Dad's gaff up and running again, but I don't know how. What's that? You reckon me Dad's lucky to have a daughter like me who wants to put a smile back on his face? Oh, I ain't bothered if he smiles or not. I'm just sick of watching him mooch about with a face like thunder. Why, that? what that bloke needs is something to keep him busy. Know what I mean? If you want to help me, you can start by making the traditional drink of Crumble Dune, Digger's Jigger. <laughs> a bit of light refreshment's just what we need to drag these brooding bludgers out the doldrums. You'll need a cast to make it. Be a gent and knock one together. Put it in the pub, right where we old man used to keep it. Hmm. I think I know how to make alky halls. Yaha! A cask. Can make juice out of fruits and vegetables. Just plonk a cask down. Okay. So, how many, how much wood do I need to cask it up? I have enough. Bam. Oh, we have unlimited still, even though we're here. That's awesome. All right. Bam. Well, Lynn, you made the cast just like I asked. Now you're ready to rustle up a digger's jigger. Right. Stick one of these vine apples in the cask and the digger's jigger will be ready in a jiffy. Okay. Bam. Mm. Oh yeah. I feel like I should make a second cask. Especially since we can make as many as we want. There we go, pot lid. Two fur to make that. Okay, equip the shield. Great. And make another... I'm gonna make three more casks. Four casks should be fine. Okay. And... Cask. Um, go ahead and switch to this. I'm gonna move these over like so. There we go. And then we'll set up the other two casks. 
put this in and some of these cactus cutlets. All right, what do we got? I've made my first digger's jigger. Restores fullness, 15 HP, and something goes up. Yay, you're happy. Nice one. You ain't just a builder. You're a born bombing to beat. Well, ain't you going to give me a little taste of that digger's jigger you made? Yeah, there you go. Enjoy. Oh, I'm wasted now. I'm so hammered. Uh, den. It's a glass of digger's jigger. The, desp the despicable drink the children of Argon called the builder's bath water. I'm wise to your evil. He's a he's the barkeep, right? What does a barkeep sound sound like? I'm wise to your evil ways, builder. Your kind ain't welcome round here. Oh, forgive us, Argon. Take pity on our souls. This is all the work of that blasphemous builder. We ain't done nothing. Builder. Oh, what the heck was that spooky voice? Is that you, Argon? Builder, come to me. That voice was calling for you, Shma. We all heard it. Sounds like it was coming from the near old mine entrance. Well, what we waiting for? Let's go take a butcher's. Uh, I don't know where you get the c courage, Babs. Me and Dougie will stay on top, uh, up top and keep an eye on things. Not on your Nelly. You two are coming with, whether you like it or not. Comprende? B please, Babs, don't make us go. I, I, I don't think we got the stomach for it. Oh, give over. We're only going to the bottom of the steps. Me and Schmo go first and you two will follow or else. Okay. Um, I will have these fruits, please. Uh, gotta change my... No, shut it. Change... No, shut it! Oh my god. Okay. Yeah! Well, we don't need cord because we have an, un an unlimited supply. Um, I can put meat in here, but I can't cook it. Okay, that makes sense. Um, put a prickly peach in and cook it. I like the sound that it makes. All right, smash these broken barrels. Just, ooh, look at this toilet. Um... I mean, we could just make it. What is this? And beds? Oh, wow. All kinds of cool stuff. All right, but the thing is, is like, let's smash everything that's totally busted up. We don't need just busted crap, you know? Um, and I can also cook the meat on here. Okay. Great. What's this? Prickly pop, savory smoothie, good stuff. Okay. Um. Meh. 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 Uh, get him cooking. Okay. I like the rhythm. All right, let's cook the vine apple up. Wow, this finishes really fast. That's awesome. Okay. I love this. It's so good. All right, those are cooking. Now, let's see what happens when we put... What is this? Fruit flambe. And then the cactus cutlet? What do you do? All right, this has HP up and fullness. HP up and fullness. So the digger's jigger is honestly not really much. It's it's worse in every way to the savory smoothie. All right, we're gonna leave the digger's jiggers in there. Um, 
And I'm going to cook up another fruit flambe, because this thing is awesome. 15 HP. Benefit to the juice is the buffs they provide. It seems they provide the same buff. Yeah, unless the buffs are stronger. Yeah, and this restores fullness by 7. So the prickly pop is even better. Okay. What is that? Cactus steak. Let's go. Okay, and cactus steak. Fullness by 20%. That's awesome. Oh, I already know what that is. Did I already cook one of these? A vine apple? I think I did. Yes, it's going to make another fruit thing. Okay. Um, well, I'm going to go ahead and nom this cactus steak just to clear it out my inventory. Um, this can go and go and go. Everything else is food. That's fine. All right. Down to the mines. Andrew Grimm with the host. Thanks, man. Much appreciated. Some of the bonfire stuff has the effect, has effects, uh, defense, uh, attack and defense up and down. But not the fruits. But the fruits seem to provide more food if you, if you cook them on the fire than they do if you put them in a keg. I think that voice came from somewhere right around. Boo-hoo! I don't, I'm never gonna remember which one is Digby and which, so it doesn't matter. Wow, the voice is back and is booing and booing and ooing like nobody's business. That bleeding delicious digger jiggers and Kurt Argon's Roth. <laughs> Roth. <laughs> Sounds like he's coming from behind this pile of sand, Schmack. Hmm. Well, I'll dig it out. Do us a favor, see if you can clear it away. A couple of swings of that whopping great mallet of yours should do the trick. You got it, buds. You got it. Okay. Boom! We found him. We've done it already. Okay. Pretend they're brothers and they sound identical. We could do that. We could do that. Yep. Fake voice sounds like Eric Idol when he plays a woman. Dude, I will take that compliment. That is fine by me. Yep. All right. Oh, blimey, there's an orb monster riding in there. Save me, Bab, save me! Oh, poor sad golem. Poor thing sounds like it's upset. Have a word with it, Shmer. See if you can find out what the problem is. I will. Give me just a moment. I'm gonna finish clearing this out. I missed. There we go. All right, that's good enough. All right, what's up, man? Boo, who, you builder, find me, you free me, thank you. No power no more. Bring me copper, silver, gold. Get strong again. <laughs> We've only just met and already he's asking us for the moon on a stick. I think I like this guy. You need copper, silver, and gold, eh? I'd love to help, but the entrance to the mine's completely blocked off. Babs, that's a monster. You ain't really gonna help it, are ya? Babs, Babs kind, Babs pretty. Me help Babs too. Blocked tunnel this way. <gasps> Gollum friend is gonna move it. Me take closer look, follow. Let's go, dude. Let's go, Gollum friend. So is there a monster that helps us out in every chapter? I didn't vote for ya. <laughs> the real fade proof. Throw him, 
<laughs> what is it? Uh, uh, just cause some some soggy tot threw a sword at ya. <laughs> I love it. I love it. You want smash this rock? Yeah, if these rocks weren't here, we could get the mine up and running again. It's what I've always dreamed of. Then me make dream come true. Roar! Smoosh! Oh my goodness. I'm very impressed. That was brilliant. You tore that wall down like it was made of paper. Cool, blimey! Oh, cool, blimey. What was that bleeding great din all about? Uh, McGrog. That's the bald guy, right? Do my eyes deceive me? Or are you Goldie Rocks? Legend has it that the mine of Crumble Dune was once guarded by a great golem. But when the metal disappeared, so did he. Strength gone. Need help, your help. We've been looking to clear these rocks for years. I'd never imagined it had happened like this. Everyone on Crumble Dune knows the legend of the Guardian of the Mine, but I always thought they was just kiddie stories. How wrong can a girl be? Shmer, would you and Melroth mind having a quick butchers in the tunnel? I'm sure Digby and Dougie would be more than happy to show you around. Come on, Digby and Dougie. B but nobody's been down there in a donkey's years. There'll be spots where the roof's all caved in, sand and what have you blocking the way. How are we going to get past that? I thought this might happen. Lucky for us, Shmer, I got just the thing for a situation. They've been lying around for yonks. Some miner must have left them here. Some rusty wrecking balls. Go on, Shmer, get in there. Blast through a few roadblocks, fix a few supports, and get this mine going again. All right, Dougie, do what the lady says. Time to take Shmer on a guided tour of the finest mine at Crumble Dune. I'd go myself if it wasn't for me incurable claustrophobia. That ain't fair, Digby. You know how bad me monstrophobia has gotten weakly recently, and these caves will be crawling with horrible creatures. What's worse, you're sending me in with a builder. Oh, I'm so spooked. All right. Schmer, can you search the nearby tunnels and bring back a few lumps of copper? Five should do. I only want to check the quality. I just pray Hargon doesn't catch wind. If you plant a wrecking ball... Oh, it's a bomb. Yo, I'm stoked about this. This is exciting. Okay. Um, well, let's collect some vine fruits. Um, smoosh this wood. We actually never need to smoosh wood again. We should remember that. Um, Shmeh, Malroth. Babs just gave me a right earful. If you're gonna go spelunking, you need a seasoned miner by your side, so here I am. Whoa, was that another earthquake? Yeah, ever since the golden age came to a close, the ground ain't never stopped shaking. Uh-huh, the golden age go on. It's years since I was last in these tunnels, but I don't remember him being this bad as shape. Old Argon must have let his lackeys loose down here. Back in the day, you couldn't swing and pick down these mines without striking a seam of gold. But now look at it. It ain't nothing but a sand and stones. Carly, what's up, man? Hold on a tick, this one here before. We've done it. We've broken through. Let's make it a little bigger, shall we? Um, and let's do it this way. Boom! Love it. Love it. Yep. So good. Yep. All right, let's give this a little smashy smash. And another smashy smash here. Yep. Meant to use the bomb to open the wall? Well, that's fine. I, I don't need to though, because it's not made of rocks. Or does the bomb not blow up rocks? Oh. 
Seems like a job for one of the rusty wrecking balls. Okay, let's do it. Right here. Get out of there, Shmer. There's no time to lose. You'll curse blowed. Oh, oh. Okay. That blew up a lot more than I expected it to. Sterling work, Shmer. Supposed to put it where it, oh. It told me to put it somewhere? Did I actually, did I do it right accidentally or did I totally blow it? I think I totally blew it. <laughs> All right. Nice one, Shmer. You blew a uh, path clean through that sand. Destroying stuff up sure to get us in Argon's good books. Might be more of them rusty wrecking balls knocking about in these tunnels. Make sure you pick up any you find. Meatheads like me can't be trusted with that kind of firepower. Chances are I'd squeeze it too hard and blow my biceps off. So I'll let you take care of the blasting. Thanks, Dougie. Hi-ho, it's off to bleeding work we go. Oh, and by the way, it's easy to lose your bearings down here in the dark. Lucky for you, if you whip your map out, you can cycle through it level by level. Oh. I didn't know. The mine on Crumble Dune is sped over several levels. L and R cycles. Okay, Dougie. Let's go. Okay, we're in a spooky mine. I'm excited. Um, mushroom. Okay. And what's this stuff? Malachite. Okay, I found some of that before. Oh, the bombs can't blow up rock, they're just a time saver. That is lame. Oh no! Moments! Get out of here! I'll live to dig another day. You absolutely will not. You will die. You will die almost immediately. Good stuff. We got fur, so we'll be able to make a leather shield soon, which is exciting. Um... Okay. Oh. Hang about. This don't look good at all. Them supports have seen better days. We better get them fixed right quick. Okay. Well, what do you need me to do, man? Because I will fix them up. Fix them up immediately. I'm going to make some mushroom alcohol when we get back, and it's going to F you up, dude. The power swap prop up the roof are in terrible shape. The old tunnel could collapse at any moment. You gotta get them fixed before the next earthquake hits, or we'll be buried alive. Get them softwood blocks back in place and hurry. All right. Um, so this goes right here, and right there, there we go. We'll just plop this one. Oh no, no, not what I wanted at all. This goes right there, and this one goes here, and everything is fixed. We're safe. Oh, that was close. You can climb the chains like ladders. Nice. Lovely jubbly. Them supports look good as new. You done this before, ain't ya? Um, sort of. Uh, duh. Hammer. Hammer! <laughs> we haven't found coal before. Yay! Yeah! Let's go. Took the leap and trimmed most of my beard down to one centimeter and left your mustache long. Nice. Do you have, uh, do you have any wax for it? I love it. Okay. Just want to grab a bunch of coal. Again, we haven't found it before, and um, I remember needing a lot of coal in, uh, in Dragon Quest Builders 1. So, we'll just grab a bunch here. Um, there's probably a way to get an unlimited... Oh, copper and coal. Okay, you know what? Yeah. Okay. Wow. It's a lot of stuff. So do mine, do the bombs not blow up downwards very much? Kind of surprised by that. 
I only use it for my beard when it's longer. My mustache stays in place and doesn't need waxed. Really? Can you even curl it? You can curl your mustache without wax? That's amazing. Pretty good. Pretty good. All right. I fixed it, man. And I blew stuff up, too. Looks like we stumbled on a good bit of metal, too. That mallet of yours won't be able to break the auto rocks, but it should do the trick for copper and coal. <laughs> first things first, let's nab ourselves a few nice lumps of copper for our old mate McGrog. And we might as well bag a bit of coal while we're here. What's that, Schmer? It wouldn't be a lump of copper, would it? <laughs> old man McGrog wanted five, remember? Yeah. Okay. Huh. Hold on. Aren't you supposed to be a miner? You should stay behind and do some work for a change. If you go back now, you'll be in for another one of Babs' tongue lashings. Uh, yeah, maybe you got a point. All right, then. I'll stay here and dig for a bit longer, but you two better go and see McGrog pronto. Okay. Look at this. Much of this um, rail is still intact. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and do this now. <laughs> yeah, a hammer upgrade is probably incoming. That is probably true. What was that purple thing? that purple thing a thing? Oh, this is so cool, dude. Yes. That's awesome. go back this way. This is gonna be perfect. Um, clay, copper, oh, we can just use clay, right? Okay. Come on, dude. You can do it, Schmer, I believe. Thank you. Uh, we've got hammer hoods up here. Wonder what the hammer hoods give us. If they give us fur, we should kill at least one. Um, and they do. So we can use that to make a shield, which is awesome. Okay. Not doing much damage, but the instant kills are still going. Um... All right. Cool. Let's go. There it is. There it is. Impressive, right? All right. There's a mine cart on the bridge out of the mine. Oh. Uh, the real Fade Proof, this is on the Switch. I am playing this on Switch. Um, the issue on this island, I'm sure they'll tell me about the minecart when I go back in. The issue on this island is that the mines were closed, and the people aren't drunk enough. Yo, I also have been told to build a restaurant on, uh on the what's it called discovery island or whatever it's called island of the island of awakening um so we can we can start putting a, a restaurant together but i would like to get like a stove first i don't want to just use cook fires right now uh let me take a closer look mm. there you go buddy yes yes this is top quality crumbled dune copper all right 
You won't find any finer than this. Seems like the mines have a little life in them yet. They want to become dwarves. Yeah, that's true. That sounds about right. Sorry to butt in, but I spoke with Goldie Rocks while you lot were scurrying about down in the mine. A says the more metal we can give him, the more strength he'll return. <laughs> and once he's got all his powers back, he can use them to fill up the mine with precious minerals again. It'll be like the gold rush never ended, he says. Is that so? Then perhaps he'd benefit from the copper that Schmerges brought back. Can it, can it? And we exact, can't exactly leave him in this state, poor old thing. I say we give him a copper. Okay. Goldie rocks. Is that copper? Copper not enough. Need gold to become gold golem, strong golem. When strength returns, metal returns. But copper stronger than stone. Me become copper golem, stronger golem. You give me copper? Yeah, there you go, buddy. Thank you, friend. Throw copper at me. It become part of me. Throw very hard. <laughs> hi -ya! I hit him right in the groin, apparently. Only your head is copper, man. Cool. Blimey. That's blatant brilliant. You turned him into a copper golem. No, I didn't. Hold up. Only his head's gone copper. What about the rest of him? Boo-hoo. Me look silly. Need more copper. Maybe a thousand lumps? A thousand? Pull the other one. That's impossible, Shirley. I wouldn't say that. The mine might, be not, might not be what it once was, but there's got to be more copper down there. Digby, Digby, look what I found. I had a bit more of a dig about. That mine is chock full of copper. Look at all this, what I brought back. 50. Is that it? Is that bleeding it? You always was a lady little skyver, Dougie. Hit him in, a, in the crotch and gave him a head giggity. <laughs> Give me a break, Digby. I'm the only geezer doing any work around here, and I ain't even got a pub to unwind at after me shift. How am I expected to keep morale up, eh? Always with the excuses. Why don't you stop moaning about morale and get on with your job? Don't be so harsh on him, Malroth. Why did ain't no holiday in the sun, you know? It's all graft. Dirty, dank, and dangerous. Lads have to have some way of letting off steam. <laughs> I'll help that layabout let off some steam by cracking his thick head open. That should get rid of all the hot air. Quit punching that rock, dude. Let's save that one as a last resort, eh? I think we got a better idea how we can get all the copper goldie rocks names. Um, okay. Mm -hmm. Pains me to say it, but as things stand, we ain't getting our hands on a thousand lumps of copper anytime soon. But if we could give the miner something to look forward to after an odd day's work, it might motivate him a little bit harder. <laughs> and I know just the thing. All we need to do is give them their old pub back. You mean rebuild the pub? Yeah, makes sense. My cat had like a bite mark on his ear and I was looking at pics. Oh, is he okay? Hey, exactly. Walls have fallen down, there ain't much furniture left, but that's where Dad's pub used to be. First thing I need you to do is make a cocktail counter. Just plonk a cocktail shaker over there on the bar where Dad can see it. Okay. You'll probably have to make it out of copper, but I ain't an expert. If you need metal working tips, McGrog's your man. McGrog. I need your help. Wake up. Eggs and bakey. You're looking cheerful as always, young man. What business has a lad like you got with an old timer like me? So you want to make a cocktail shaker for the pub, but you don't know how to do it. I'm sure you heard already, but crafting's forbidden in these parts. I used to smith myself, but I doused, I doused my forge some time ago. You see, the mine dried up. Crumble Dune's glory days were over. In fact, it wasn't so long ago that the children of Hargon seized control of the island. Their teachings seem to take root in no time at all. Just about everyone here is a believer these days. Still, blacksmith's fire never truly dies. And as this is for Babs, I'll teach you what you need to know. I trust you'll keep our little arrangement secret. Before you can work with it, you have to turn the raw copper into copper ingots and the roaring fire of a forge. So you'd better start by making yourself a forge, eh? Whip one up at the workbench, put it down around here. Forging can begin. All right. Yeah. yeah. A sturdy stone smithy hot enough to melt almost anything. Great. All right, forge time. What do we need? We need 
stone. You got it. That's very doable. Whack. Yep. Yep. And that's enough stone. Let's go. All right, forge time. Make the next guy sound like Alec Guinness. Oof. I very rarely do like specific impersonations. <laughs> <laughs> but if I listen to him a little bit, maybe I could do it. All right, forge has been made. Put this crap away. Oh, wait. This crap away. This crap, this crap. Um, why don't you go ahead and drink that? Might as well. And um, now I'm on a steak. Yeah, good stuff. Okay, and uh, we need the forge. And I want these mushrooms, because I really do want to see if we can make mushroom booze. That would be amazing. We cannot. That's too bad. Alright. Uh, don't blow everything up, Shmer. It's a terrible plan. Okay, good stuff. And let's cook the mushrooms on the fire, then. See what we get out of that. And, uh... Let's do more of these. Oh, actually, the cactus cutlets are a little better on the fire, probably. All right. Fire it up! The end boss needs to be voiced by Kermit the Frog. The first pub fell down and sank into the desert, so we rebuilt. And that pub also fell down and sank into the desert. But the third one. The third one! Well, that one burnt down, fell over, and then sunk into the sand. But the fourth one still stands today. I love it. All right, forge. I mean, this looks like a forge to me in here, right? So I'm gonna smoosh this up. There we go, and we'll... Oh, the forge is too big. Um, how about right here? Boom, aha. So you've built your forge. Hargon won't be happy about that, but in for a gold coin, in for a gold bar, as they say. Time to get forging. <laughs> Let's start by making some copper ingots. We can make glass, too. Awesome. Oh, it takes time to make them, huh? All right. Well, that'll take a thousand years. That's fine. Um, go ahead and smash this up. Was this an elevator once upon a time? Different way into the mines, perhaps? Okay, smash this broken barrel. Um, what else needs smashing? Yep. Okay. So well, our um, well, our copper's cooking. Yep. We can clean out the bar a little bit too. Okay. Yep. Stuff. Got to make sure that the foundation is sound, right? Yep. Look at all this stinking sand back here. Yep. Whoopsie daisies, didn't mean to do that. I'll put it back exactly as it was, don't worry. Okay, it's not exact, but it's close enough, right? Okay. I can't break that. That's so lame. All right. Let's break up all the broken stone, too, right? We gotta keep this place looking fresh. Sure. 
surely we will be able to make more of this stonework soon. Now that we have a forge. All right. Looks great. It looks perfect. Bet the boss is a mole. I don't know. It could be a golem. Um. Oh, there's some busted stone over here, too. All right. 15 copper bars. Let's go. All right. What do I need to do next, man? You made the copper ingots. It's just like the children of Hargon say. You builders are fearful creatures. Why, if I hadn't hung up my anvil already, you'd have me out of a job. Just remember that the metal you find in the mines is as good as useless unless you smelt it. If you ever need more coal, you'll find plenty of it down in the mine. You know, I'm not without my reservations, but I think Babs might be onto something with this idea of using the dense pub to light a fire under the miners' behinds. Alright, Schmack! Did McGrog teach you how to work metal? Now you can get cracking on that cocktail shaker. Just make sure you place it on the bar when you're done and make that cocktail counter, yeah? That way Dad will be sure to spot it. Okay. A bee bee Smur learns a new recipe. Let's go. Yaha! Okay. Cocktail shaker. Now, can I, um... Can I make any of these rocks already? No, I can make no... I can make nothing right now. Um... Well, ain't that a bitch. Alright, well, let's make the cocktail shaker. Alright. Cocktail shaker. Gotta make Moscow mules in the copper mugs, and only hipsters will show up to this bar. Desert hipsters. Dude, Moscow mules are good. I mean, yes, it's a hipster drink, but yo, they're, they are good, right? Ooh, giving them hearts. Yeah, dude. We're gonna level this place up in no time. Okay, I did it. I made a cocktail shaker. Who do I need to talk to about this? There he is. What were you doing up there, man? Looks like Babs has cooked up another idea. Babs? Babs! There she is. All right. Thanks, Shma. That cocktail counter is just what we needed to get these miners and me dad motivated. What the? I can't believe me mince pies. Ah. Oh no, Moscow Mule has been a hipster drink forever, man. Ooh, Zeke the Beast wants a little bit of a Caucasian. I love it. Is this a cocktail counter? Me pub, it's back. All right, lads, diggers, jiggers on the house. Yeah, let's go, drink up. Drink up, boys, get wasted, and then go play with explosives. Oh, I did mention me dad used to be landlord of this gaff, didn't I? Yeah, you did. Miners used to come here every night to let off steam. They was always back down the pit at the crack of dawn next morning. I was only a little girl back then, but I remember how happy they always looked. You could say him and the miners were my heroes. And now that you're here, Ishma, I get this feeling we can rebuild the pub and turn this island back into an hive of activity it once was. I know it's a big favor to ask, but will you help me? Yeah, dude. I'm in. <laughs> Thank you so much. I knew you had a good heart. I just wish we had a few more good miners. Where are we supposed to find any round here? No matter how well Dougie and Digby work, there's still only two of them. Any bright ideas, Shma? Yes. We wait around for as long as we need to for them to finish the work necessary. What are you grinning about? You think of a way to bring in more miners? We can use the builder's bell, you say? You talk about that old thing? Yeah, dude. When you ring it, the sound draws people in and you become a better builder. You don't say. Well, you better give that thing a ring then, hadn't ya? All right, let's have a look at these mushroom skewers. Oh, 
Oh, it's a heart. All right. Um, oh, right. We can also get hearts from uh, from ringing the bell. Okay. Um, let's put the mush in here. Get it cooking. All right. And ring my bell. Uh, right, with the hammer. Ring the bell with the hammer. Uh, how are these shrooms on a stick, by the way? 20 and attack up. Actually, that's not attack up. That's digging up. That's really awesome. Okay. <laughs> Clang schmer. Yeah. And Jeffrey Epstein. That's awful. That is the worst. Oof. But you're right. You're right. Oh. Oh. All right. We got three new miners. That's exciting. Oh, we can make the leather shield now, too. Let's do that as well. Load of new recipes. Adobe walls, copper walls, stone steps, saloon doors, lanterns, sconces, etc. Okay. What a bleeding Nora was that sound? I ain't never heard anything like it. It worked. It really worked. We found ourselves some new miners. Bunch of adventure games. All right. Get you, Schmer. You invented full flagons, barrels, collections of bottles. It's all stuff for the pub. That ain't all. He's figured out how to make keg counters, couple wall blocks. We're just going to stick with Babs for this one. Just hope there's enough copper down below for all this. <laughs> You've been here five minutes and already you're inventing new stuff. If I didn't know any better, I'd say you were getting into this. Call you builders or something else. I ain't felt this full of beans since, well, since breakfast. <laughs> ha ha! See, as you brought me, you best say hello to our new arrivals. Go on, give them a proper crumble, dude. Welcome. What's up, boys? Watcha. We heard the sound of the bell. We came over to see what the commotion was. What's going on here? Why is it reeking metal? Oh. Yo, builder. Not only that, you're rebuilding the pub and mining again? Children of Argyle won't stand for it. I'm telling on you. The Undersea will hear about this. Are you lot? Hang about. Babs, is that you? You was nothing more than an ankle biter last time I saw you. How time flies, eh? Me and Schmear have decided to get the mine up and running again. I want you to give us a hand. Well, that's heresy in the eyes of Argon. I'll never forget when the mines dried up and children of Argon banned building. There's nothing less for us here. He was wailing, begging us not to go, but we had no choice. It was hamstrings versus art strings that day. I know we go back a long way, Babs, but we believe in the master of destruction now. We might have abandoned the mine, but we can't abandon our faith. But as long as the children of Argon don't hear about it, we're all yours. We keep the digging nice and quiet, won't do no harm. Yay! Tell me about these adventure games, Kali. There's so many uh, that I haven't played. Alright, Babs. When you rang that bell, those miners came running like moths to a flame. Now they're on board, we should see a nice little upturn and up in output. Schmack. You know, I was wrong about you. The monsters blinded us to the truth, but the glorious sound of that bell snapped us all back to our senses. What he means is, we're finished with the children of Argon. From now on, we want to help you build stuff, innit? Go, <laughs> oh, Flex! I love it. That's settled then. You've done so much for us already, Shma, but things are already just getting off the ground. Why don't we go and tell Goldie Rocks about the plan? Poor thing thinks he'll never be back to his gold self again. Okay. Wow, it's getting so much done. We're gonna go to the anvil. We're gonna build a leather shield. We're going to equip said shield. Um, now, is anybody here like a defender? Or are you all miners? All right, what about weaponry? What if I made a weapon? Um like a stone S word. I don't know, seems like a bad plan.
we'll wait. I'm sure we'll find some new stuff. Um, organize. And mush is done. And we're gonna continue this next time on Dragon Quest Builders. So thanks for tuning in. You know I appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you later. I'll see you around. I'll see you next time. Twitch folks, stick around. We got probably two more episodes of Dragon Quest Builders left in us. Maybe one and then a bunch of building uh, off camera. Um, but you two folks, I will see you next time. Can't wait to play more Dragon Quest Builders 2, and I can't wait to do it with you. Have a great day. Bye.